After about seven years of negotiations, 15 countries, including South Korea, China, and Japan, have agreed on the terms of the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership, or RCEP, which the countries have committed to signing next year. Our Kim Hesung reports on the significance of the deal. A mega free trade agreement, the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership, was reached Monday in Thailand. The trade deal involves all 10 ASEAN member countries and five of their trading partners South Korea, China, Japan, Australia, and New Zealand. India, which runs a large trade deficit with China, decided not to join, citing unresolved issues on the deal. The agreement with RCEP countries, which account for half of South Korea's trade, will help revitalize and diversify South Korea's exports. According to the Korea Economic Research Institute, RCEP will add an annual average of 1 percent to South Korea's GDP and 1.1 billion U.S. dollars in consumer benefits in the long run. It's also expected to boost South Korea's current account by $29 billion. The Trade Ministry says the deal will help South Korean companies enter the e-commerce markets of ASEAN countries, goods that have been produced in different countries within RCEP in the different stages of production process would also be able to get preferential tariffs. Unified rules of origin will help facilitate trade and lower non-tariff barriers. The RCEP deal also helps lower uncertainties amid rising trade protectionism and the ongoing U.S.-China trade dispute. However, RCEP could have a negative impact on South Korea's agriculture and marine sectors as it includes agricultural powerhouses like China, Australia and New Zealand. In addition, India, which boasts the second largest consumer market in the world, opted out of the deal. Fifteen RCEP member countries say they aim to officially sign the deal in 2020 and also work to resolve issues and include India in the trade pact. Kim Hye-sung, Arirang News.